Hide your food! The fat phobes and the skinophobes are here! There's war happening on TikTok right now. We might as well call this World War III, but with food. So it's not as dangerous, but it's still insane because people on TikTok are dying. Okay, that was a little over dramatic. No one's actually dying, but people are arguing. If you are losing weight because you want to feel better, be in less pain, be healthier, okay. all of these, these things, yeah. that's half of it, okay? Wait, so if I'm trying to lose weight because that's a goal of mine, I want to be a little healthier, have a little more confidence in myself, that makes me fat phobic? <laughs> what? Since when is wanting to take care of yourself fat phobic? If you are losing weight because you want to feel better, be in less pain, that's fat phobic. If you're losing weight because you want to feel better, be in less pain, stop. Why would you want to be in less pain to begin with? Grow up! You're literally in pain, so just learn to deal with it and grow a pair! Just deal with the pain like we all do! Jesus. That's like saying, if you're working to earn money, that makes you porophobic. Then you know what? I am porophobic! Porophobic of myself, bitch! Fuck poor people! Who on earth wants to be poor anyways? Why the fuck would you want to be poor? What is this stupid com- it is not a shameful thing to be fat phobic. Okay. You are probably fat phobic, and I am too. Wait, did he just make me come out and did he also just come out as fat phobic? Which also means that you're fat phobic. You nasty motherfucker. You probably didn't even know this. You're probably like, oh, fat people are nice. Why would I hate them? Shut the fuck up. You might not know that you're fat phobic, but William here, he knows that you're fat phobic. Yeah, he's exposing you. But that's not our fault. Oh, that's not our it fault? It was socialized oh. into us. We were raised to believe that being fat is a moral failing. And it's not. What is shameful is to not combat your fat phobia. Oh, and you so can't do that until you have accepted that you are fat phobic. This is like literally forcing people to say that they're gay or to say that they're lesbian or they're straight. But what if I'm not fat phobic and I don't have this hate against fat people? That's like telling gay people that they're straight. Oh, you've always been into guys ever since you came out of your mom's vagina. You were attracted to guys? But uh, have you ever thought that maybe you're not gay? Maybe you think that you're gay because you were hating gay people so you were not combating the gayness inside you so then you were like, maybe I'm gay so you're not gay! It is not productive to feel shame over something that was baked into all of us. It is productive to identify it okay. and then work on it. To identify it? and then work on it. You know what? We're all gonna work on our fat phobia today. I gotta chant my inner fat phobia to come out and I'm gonna have a conversation with that bitch. <sighs> okay, good, you're out. We have to talk about this. Hey, what's up? You gotta stop being fatphobic. No. Well, at least I tried. First of all, I don't give a fuck about fat people. My problem is you. Oh, Why are we not eating more pizza lately? We were eating so much pizza and then we stopped? No one gives a fuck that we're eating more pizza? Just eat the goddamn pizza! This war that's happening is so ridiculous that people are attacking other people for losing weight. Wanting to lose weight because you don't want to be fat makes you fat phobic. I'll be fucking fat phobic all day. 
guess what? I was fucking fat and I didn't fucking like it. This picture right here was 55 pounds ago. And during this beach trip right here, I had a rash in between my thighs that hurt when I walked so bad. I was constantly putting like sunscreen in between it because it's the only way that made it not hurt. And guess what? That was not fucking fun. I was also winded when I was walking upstairs. I was also pre-hypertensive and pre-diabetic at that point. Holding a ton of excess extra weight was not comfortable for me. I do not want to be that size ever. This poor girl went through so much shit to lose weight because she was really having a tough time. And the comments are like, wait, isn't that fat phobic though that you wanted to feel healthier and lose weight and feel a lot better about yourself? No, that doesn't sit right with me. Seeing people not being in pain anymore, that has to stop. No, you're being canceled. I'm not fat phobic. Oh, it's the I same just don't dude. Want to be fat. That's not how it works. No, seriously, I have no problem with fat people. Yeah, I think what's, what's wrong with that? I'm all for body positivity or whatever. Okay. I just don't want to be fat. Actively not wanting to be fat is fat phobia. And therefore, you're fat phobic. Why is this dude so obsessed with people's sizes, though? I have a feeling that he promotes being fat so much it's kind of weird that i feel like he has a he has a fat fetish you know it's okay that you have a fat fetish but when someone says that they don't want to be fat they're comfortable with the way they are why are they going to be considered fat phobic if they say that they don't want to gain weight what kind of an argument is this you have to want to be fat to not be considered fat phobic Fat people are the nicest people that I ever meet and they're always so beautiful. Oh, right? really now? But do you want to be fat? Um, no, not really. I'm very comfortable with my body. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought because you hate fat people. You're fat phobic, you piece of shit. Look at yourself. You're disgusting. I mean, a lot of my friends are fat. I think they're pretty nice people. I really didn't think that... I hated them. I mean, in reality, I do hate them because uh, they steal my food sometimes, but I never thought that I'm fat phobic. Oh my god, I gotta come out to my parents. If you work out strictly for appearance based reasons, you are fat phobic. Girl. Shut the fuck up. I will beat your skinny ass with this fat mm -hmm. roller that. I use for the dough to roll the dough. I'm lying, I've never actually, like I've rolled dough, but like I've never. Ooh, I'm working out. Oh shit, I can't work out, that's fat phobic. So it's fat phobic to not want to be fat? Yeah, actively not wanting to be fat is fat phobic. It's the same dude. At this point, you're just confirming the rumors. You have a fat fetish. Admit it, it's okay, we all have a fetish, and uh, I'm just gonna come out and say it before anyone outs me. My fetish is, uh, chips. I eat a lot of chips. You're fat phobic. Oh. And that's okay. You're supposed to be. Okay. Now, I know what you might be thinking. She said that's okay, so it's okay for me to be fat phobic. I'm learning so much from random people today about myself that I didn't know about myself. I'm not fat phobic. I'm fat myself. Or I'm not fat phobic. I have you know, larger bodied friends who I love and family members who I love. Yeah. Or I'm, you know, not fat phobic. I would never judge someone for the shape or the size of their body. Yeah, thank right? you. Okay. Well, you are. Oh. And you're supposed to be. That's okay. Now, what okay. the fuck am I talking about? Exactly. Well, what we've been societally conditioned from a really young age to hate fat people. Okay. A great example of this is those magazine covers that you might see in the supermarket in the early 2000s. Okay. On every single cover, it would be something like a picture of a thin-bodied celebrity or model with a caption about how she had gained weight or was increasing in size. Okay. Tyra Banks' picture of her at the beach with the caption that she was a whale is a great example of this. I can't. I still can't watch a movie from the early 2000s uh, without gagging because they often have really really offensive jokes about fat people But isn't it that all the movies back then were like very offensive? It wasn't just towards fat people It was towards everyone like there were there were a lot of racist jokes and like homophobic jokes Sexist anything that you can think of there's so many offensive ba jokes back in 2000s because back in the days Let's admit it people were a lot less sensitive TikTok is a breeding ground for fat phobia Look at any fat creators' comments on their page. Look at all these trends, like don't skip this trend or you'll gain weight with all these young girls reposting it, saying I can't gain weight, I have to repost this. But that's just dumb young girls though. If you tell them that apple juice causes hair loss, they will stop drinking apple juice. There's definitely a lot of fat phobic and skinny phobic 
people going around, but don't tell someone just because they're losing weight that they're fat phobic. That's the dumbest shit that I've ever heard. And the same thing was happening with the skinny girls. I did a video about them like a while ago. People are obsessed with their bodies and they will always be obsessed. I don't think we're ever not going to be obsessed with our bodies, but don't be telling people what they should do and what they shouldn't. It's their fucking bodies. They want to lose weight. Fine, who cares? They want to gain weight. Who gives a shit? Just stop labeling every single thing as fat phobic, skinophobic, and hateful. Let people be, you know? Anyways, I'm gonna end this video here. As I said, this war is insane. People are dying. And if they're not dying, I'll be the one killing them with this, uh dough roller. Please become a member if you haven't already. It supports this channel and you also get some exclusive emojis. So just become a member, Jesus Christ. If there's one label that I would give to myself, it's purophobic. You can call me out, I don't give a fuck. I am purophobic. And you're also coming out as purophobic as well because if I gave you two options, would you want to be rich or would you want to be poor? Which one would you pick? Obviously you would pick rich because you're already poor and it's miserable.